okay. Hello, peeps. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> right, what we got? Uh, <laughs> oh, Joel, that was uncalled for. Of course, it wasn't a number two. Uh, Yeah, okay. Um <laughs> You people are disgusting. Brenda <laughs> That's not how it works. <coughs> oh dear. Um Right, uh well Yeah, Mr. Blue Unable, I know, I've just noticed it's, uh, the, the picture's mirrored, and I, th I think, I, well, I don't know, I don't know why, because it's the front camera on, on the phone, uh, does it normally do that? Who knows? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing the plot here. Uh, 
to be my... Uh, Nigel, didn't you post that as a, a comment? And you would have got a reply in about three days. Um, I these uh, I never put stuffing inside a chicken because, as you say, it messes up the cooking time, temperature. It's all a bit dodgy, um, and so I just cook it outside for what maybe half an hour, as you know, as balls or a loaf, and you slice it or whatever you like. Um, yeah, Jamie Oliver does what? Drains his spuds. Uh, I've got a right lot of time for Jamie Oliver. I, I, I love what he does, you know, as a, a socially conscientious bloke, but as um, a presenter and that, and a cook, uh, you know, he, he, he has things that he does all the time. Um, and uh, Oh, hello, Paul. And hello, Tina. From the Philippines. Hi. Oh, it must be um, some weird time in the middle of the night or something there. Is it? Uh, right, this is me trying to get YouTube up on the laptop because I can't read the tiny little comments on the phone. Yeah, Adam, sensible bloke. <laughs> I I hope you're not boiling your preserved lemons, Brent. <laughs> uh, what you do is you send them to uh, Mrs. Keith Cooks and she'll take care of them. She puts them on salads and insanis and everything. And um, yeah, uh, I always forget that they're there. YouTube. Liverpool tart? Never heard of that. Well, I've I've known some, but um, not as a meal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, my mate in France, you you've been very quiet recently. Everything okay? Cheveux sans abri. Adelaide, Ozzy, is it really one o'clock in the morning? I, I completely messed up the timings for this um, broadcast. Because uh, I, I went to a website where it got very complicated and you told it where you were and what time you wanted it to be and it gave you times for all the major cities on the planet, but uh, not the right ones. So, you know, uh, not my fault. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I bet some of you who um, have just joined on Keith Cooks have been sitting around wondering where the hell I am. And, and it's because I, I had lots of technical problems and I ended up having to do it on my phone. My phone YouTube was set on Planet Keith, so it's it started on on that channel and for about 40 minutes before I realised but um, I was doing it wrong, uh, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I should uh, recapitulate on everything that I've done so far. But uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Kraska, list them as GMT. Yeah, uh, yeah, but you know, I mean, this this website it was supposed to have taken account of daylight saving in all all the other places and that, and here, and um, yeah. Uh, hello, can you say Dragon Balls, if it makes you happy? Dragon Games? Or Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Oh, Brenda, you made vanilla extract. I, I, I put used vanilla pods in, in sugar and it kind of infuses, but how, how do you make an extract of it then? <laughs> You whiz it in your little mini food processor. Dragon Games? Hmm. I think what we'll do is... 
Well, I can put you in timeout or I can hide you. I think I'll just hide you. No, I'll remove you. Yeah, bye bye. Right, Adam, it, it now gives me the um, moderator option. So. <clears throat> In fact, you already are. <laughs> and where's Mr. Krasker? Ad moderator. There you go. Good man. Vanilla beans. Uh, Nigel, I don't know um, Franklin's at all. Uh, I know there's there's plenty of um, sort of BBQ places around and um, hmm. so you know if, if a bricks and mortar thing counts as a shack then yeah. <laughs> oh we've got another one. <laughs> Bruge Mad Beleg. Bye bye. So, uh, Adam, where's, uh, what, where is uh, Franklin's then? Uh, Dippy Fresh, hello, hello to your cat Lucy. Lucy Fresh, that would be, I guess. D D D D. Oh, Austin, Texas. Yeah, right. Yeah, man, I'm going there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Chip beef on toast. Chip beef on toast. No, I've never heard of that. Uh, Wilbert Muscle, I know about Colonel Sanders. Elvis Presley? Really? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, yes, Chris, Chris the Butcher and Friends and the Hopwood Show, we have switched channels. It gets confusing, you know. You probably do know. Uh, <laughs> mm. Cross between Elvis Presley and Colonel Sanders. I'll take that. Yeah, Joel, you do right. Well, two channels is um, hard to manage, very hard to manage. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Nigel, do fish and chip shops make their own mushy peas from dried peas? I'm pretty sure they do. do um, from the dried marrowfat peas is really the only way to do it, I think. You know, unless they get them in massive, massive cans. Nathaniel Evans, what is the best pie? Uh, it's got to have beef in it. Probably steak and kidney is my, my fave. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So <laughs> Joel, you lost a stone in weight because you stopped consuming mushy peas. You don't expect me to believe that. That ale <laughs> wasn't wasn't at all bad. All malt British beer, uh, 4.1%, made by JW Lees. Oh, I think they're in Manchester. Yeah, Manchester. But endorsed by an inside-out Marco Pierre White. Uh, despite that, 129 or 125 from Lidl. <laughs> Grab it. 
89 Thunder Chunky in Manchester. Hi. <laughs> Uh, all right, <laughs> Cheveux sans abri. I thought you were saying you won the lottery. That would have been bloody marvellous, wouldn't it? Uh, what would I do if I I won it? Um, uh, buy a nice house and uh, a nice car. I've got a nice car, but a, a newer nice car. And um, that'd be it, really, because I've got all the all the kit that I want. And uh, yeah, just uh, <laughs> worry a lot less. Anyway, uh, oh, will will bit muscle. I am not a chef. Uh, I'm really not. I'm I'm a cook, uh, and there's a big difference. So, uh, but I've been cooking all my adult life, really. But only. Uh, in the last few years, got quite serious about it. Um, Marco Pierre White Keith Floyd mashed potato is uh, something special about that. Oh, Adam, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the plug. Uh, yeah. Do I eat out, Wilbur? Um, maybe once a week, but generally not. Uh, fancy places, yeah. Quite quite often it's a pub. More often than not, it's Weatherspoons, which you know can be terrible. Can be okay, but it's dependable. Terrible. So uh, yeah. Uh, what's the craziest dish I've ever created? Not really a dish, but it's got to be the long egg. Um, uh, and I, I, I have got, in my head, I've got a, another long thing that is seriously crazy that I'm going to get round to doing soon. And, um, yeah. Uh, hello, Jenny Lee from China. And Dazzy360, my favourite celebrity chef. Uh, I think it used to be Tom Courage, but... Um, since he started losing weight on purpose and um, going all diety and healthy, uh, I've gone off him a bit. Um, so, you know, Rick Stein, um, Keith Floyd, my hero. Uh, long live the long egg. <laughs> hey, Brody. Nathaniel, that will be a long chicken. Oh, fr frying frying the peel off potatoes. Mm. Odd. I am Sikins. And Ricky, not a camel. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, I mean Rick Stein is um, is is uh, authentic, isn't he? He's, he, he was like. A, a bit of a hippie when he started out, and and now he's, um, yeah, he's well, he's doing it, and he's. Uh, yeah. Nigel is bury black pudding the best. That's a, a a tough one. I mean, I've only had it from Tesco's, and that is not anywhere near the best. Um, I I need to go to bury, and probably stop in at a certain butcher in Oldham on the way. <laughs> The the best black pudding is that I've ever had is um, wasn't black pudding it was morcilla from um, Burgos in Spain and uh, you know Burgos is is famous as uh, it's it's like the English bury of black pudding if you like um, and got uh, we got this kilo of artisan morcilla and it was just to die for it was fantastic. I'd love to be able to recreate that. Uh, Brenda, seasoned fruit juice. Um, no, I never have. I'm I'm not a massive fan of sort of fruit with savoury stuff, but yeah. 
Random fat guy, good morning. Um <laughs> Oh Nathaniel, you're in you're in good old Bury. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Hey. What's in white pudding? I don't know. Will I be watching the World Cup? Probably not very much if it's... Um... Oh, wow. $9.99. dollars <laughs> Thank you. A chip butty. Not a chip buddy. I've, I've, I've heard a lot of Americans think they're called buddies, but they're butties. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, quick plug for um, Chevaux Sans Abri, uh, which is a horse sanctuary uh, run by T Thomas Herendorf in um, Waterloo. You don't call it Waterloo, we do. Uh, in northern France, and he's desperate for money to feed the GGs and that. They rescue horses that have been abused and neglected, and uh, he's got a website. Put your website URL, or you're are you still doing that fundraiser, crowdfunder thing. Put that on there. And, uh, yeah. Mum to three boys. Yes, I love haggis. I love it. It's um, And I know what goes into it, and I still love it. So... Oh, Thomas hasn't got a website anymore. So, anyway. Uh, George Hill from China. Hello. Joel, you've never had haggis? Well, you know, the, the, the supermarkets are, are up on it, mainly around Haggis Day. Um, Rabbi, uh, Burns Night, Rabbi Burns Night, um, Rabbi Burns, in uh, February. Um, but throughout the year, some of them there. So have a look for it. It's really tasty stuff. Okay, Thomas, uh, put your Facebook URL on there so peeps can click on it. Yeah, Joel, I think when you're 12, you're reluctant to try new things, aren't you? <laughs> uh, Jedi Guna, uh, a crust, you mean pastry? Um, I, I generally use hot water pastry for my pies, and um, I've got recipes for it on the channel, and uh, it's dead easy to make, and even though you make it hot, you use it when it's cooled, and it's it's very very simple and, and very good nice pastry. So yeah, uh, shout out for M Amado. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Joel, stop it. <laughs> Alan Kay, what did I do in my previous life? Good question. I have been um, an interior designer. Uh, an interactive multimedia designer, a website designer, and developer. Um, and, um, uh, yeah, sort of design stuff. Chris Butcher, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay. So I, uh, <laughs> when... When I was doing this stream on the wrong channel on Planet Keith, uh, I, I did a big spiel about Gary Linton photography because um, I, you know, I want to promote the guy. Uh, I, so a couple of months ago, I, he he ran a workshop in Leeds on night uh, photography, low light photography, and uh, it was it was ace. It was really really good, um, and so he. Uh, he only does like small groups, probably not more than 10 people, mostly, generally. And he charges 39 quid and he does various topics, you know, he's, he's big on astrophotography. And, uh, yeah, uh, highly recommend it. He's, he's based in the northeast in County Durham. 
uh, but you know, does stuff around Yorkshire as well. Um, so if you ever happen to be up this way, uh, he's he's worth checking out. Gary Linton, L I N T E R N photography.com or one word and uh, he uh, and also he's he's booked Durham Cathedral one of the most gorgeous parts of rock on the planet um, for a session uh, next month and I'm going to that I'm going to have a weekend in Durham City which is where I was born and it's going to be fab and I might look up one of my cousins up there oh Michael Warren $20 thank you very much yay uh, right, missed a load of comments there. Let's go back. Da, 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 da. How do I get my moustache beard to look so great? I don't... <laughs> it just happens. I, I wouldn't think it looks so great. In fact, I, I, I had some comments from OCD people when, uh, you know, one, one time I shaved the, the goatee thing. Uh, not, not equal. And, and they were saying they, they couldn't watch the video because they were distracted by this unequal landing strip, uh, which I thought was hilarious. Um, have I tried the new veggie burgers with Peter? Oh, so they bleed. No, I haven't. That sounds very interesting, that. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, developer, yeah. Oh, comp sci, computer science. See, that's that's my problem because I'm I'm not um, a techie nerdy. I'm I'm a creative arty farty type, um, and I only got into doing development because I, I couldn't afford to hire a programmer. Um, but, and and I enjoy it. You know that the when when you get your head around it and you, you can make the computer or you know make a website do amazingly marvelous things. Um, but I. You know, I think I'm pretty slow and pretty inefficient, and uh, my code is pretty nasty. But it works. So, yeah. Uh, have I ever been mistaken? No, I've uh, not literally. I've, I've had plenty of people saying I look like him, especially when I have the full goatee thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, Adam, okay, okay. Sussed. I am. I am really Richard Branson. Okay, do the staff at KFC stand at attention? <laughs> well, do you know what? We did, we went to a KFC uh, about a month ago, and I was acutely aware that people were looking at me in a certain way. <laughs> but no, the service was as um, useless as uh, normal. Ah, <laughs> uh, lad. Uh, Jedi Guna, you can't find Rusk. Um, oh, where's it gone? Is yeah, breadcrumbs is an all right substitute, but Rusk makes a big, big difference. And um, in my, if you look at my minty lamb sausages, I describe how you make your own Rusk. I, I've not actually done a video of it, but I've done. Uh, Rusk and, and it's it's worth doing because it's uh, it, it it really just does, does hang on to the the juice better than breadcrumbs the juice the fat you know tasty tasty <laughs> okay uh, yeah nasty coding well it's okay as long as you're doing it for yourself but if you try to get a job then you're stuffed um, uh, what got me into cooking um, well first of all when I I'd left home and become a student and uh, I needed to eat and yeah so uh, uh -huh. all right Thomas uh, good, good to know you're still around because you have been very very quiet uh, 
Greetings from Japan from Banana Banana Banana. If if somebody just said oh, banana or banana banana, would would you still turn your head? What? <laughs> uh, Joel Hardy, I should have worn the jacket. Well, the blue jacket. That's uh, that's for Planet Keith. <laughs> uh, Lance the Wolf. Well, I'm not sure I should do that shout out if that's going to be the reaction, but Aidan, Warren, Olivier, or, you know, do you want it later? I don't know. Um, if you want it later, you have to make a comment because I'll forget. Hello, she Pisces from Chicago. Oh, Wild Bill Hickok. Come on. <laughs> <coughs> The Hopwood Show. You've changed again. Chris, after party. How, how are you going to do Are we going to do Skype or what? <laughs> uh, Brenda, use salty and crackers in sausages, do you mean? Might work. Uh, 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 Hello, Ella Gutierrez. Gutierrez. Does Mrs. Keith Cooks leave all the cooking to you? No, I just won't let her do it. Hello, babe. Hello. This yeah. is true. He doesn't let me near Look it. Look at that hat, isn't it great? That was his dad's. I love this hat. It's great for gardening. I've got to wash my hands, so ignore the taps. Okay, yeah? I'm going to do the treats in a bit. We? <laughs> you can do the treats. <laughs> Um, Jedi Goni, I haven't been to culinary school and you're opening a restaurant, a British restaurant. Um, no, I mean, there's plenty of people that never went to culinary school, you know, nothings like Heston Blumenthal and that. Um, but I, th I, I think I might advise you to put in a stint working in a, a restaurant kitchen before you do it, so you uh, find out the tricks and then ignore them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, there's all lots of um, people saying hello Aww. to the adorable Mrs. Keith Cooks. <laughs> yeah. Wilbert Muscle, do my children cook? I've only got one, and yes, he does cook. He's fantastic. He's better than me. Hey, yeah, he is a really good cook. But, uh... Thomas Hardy. Thomas Hardy. I hate your books. Um, <laughs> <laughs> have we got any produce in the garden? Yes, we have. It's no, we've got lettuces, potatoes, courgettes, cauliflowers, cabbages, kings, um, radishes, spuds, tomatoes, thousands of tomatoes. The kitchen garden is just flooded with stuff. Isn't None it? of it ready to eat yet, unfortunately. Some lettuces. Oh yeah, lettuce and the and the rocket and the giant red mustard. Giant red. Must do. Mm. Uh, Brenda Rigdon says that looks like Wurzel Gummidge's hat. <laughs> it was your dad, you tell what you think. <laughs> Nigel, a 10 minute full English, sous vide first. Okay, so that blows your 10 minutes out, doesn't it? Um, I don't know. I did sous vide bacon, but with like honey on it. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah, sous, yeah, sous vide bacon in your sausages and stuff, and then just burn it on a on a griddle. Yeah, uh, Thomas. Yeah, <laughs> not a fan of your books. <laughs> um, yeah, Bren, we have rhubarb going up, coming up. Yeah. So, uh, uh, any great memories from my time in Spain? Yeah, millions. Uh, mostly involving sitting on cafe bar terrazzas. Uh, you know, in the sunshine, having a three-course meal with wine for less than 10 euros. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> uh, Amsikins, a P.O. box. For, um, yeah, I don't know how you do that, but it would be a good idea, because I don't actually <laughs> like giving out my proper address, because, you know, you might well turn up one day and uh, do horrible things. 
fun up. But anyway, Brenda Rhubarb Crumble is, is that bomb. Yeah. Hello, Melistwana. Um, Siobhan Miller. Yes, sir. <coughs> I always make mayonnaise from scratch. Um, sometimes I make butter, sometimes I make yogurt, yogurt, <laughs> yogurt. Um, but, um, yeah, that's about it, really. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll do stuff just so I can show you how to do it, but I don't always do it or recommend that you should do it because it's not always economical in, term, in terms of ingredients or, or time. Uh, Adam, um, oh my God, £20 a month for a P.O. box, no. Third party places, cheaper rates, okay. All right, uh, Thomas Hardy, we used to live in Madrid. Oh, sorry. Uh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Mishka, the local legend in your friends group. Okay, get more friends, many, many more, millions more. <laughs> uh, any thoughts on some merchandise, t-shirts, mugs? E yeah, I do, I do occasionally think about it and then do nothing about it, but um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kriegy, can you have a brew? What, you mean if you turn up? Yeah, you can have one, yeah. Um, ah, she Pisces ice cream. Do you know what? I love the idea of ice cream, homemade ice cream. Uh, but I don't have an ice cream maker. I've tried making it just in the freezer, you know, where you have to stir it every 10 minutes. It, it never really works. Um, but yeah. But there is this method involving salt. I think I might try that sometime. Uh... Nigel, French classical training is the best Escoffier. Uh, yes and no. Um, I mean, a lot of what I do has roots in <coughs> in the French classics, but uh, <coughs> um, for a British restaurant, well, it depends, you know, how greasy spoon or up, up the ladder it is. But, uh, Madrid, pretty good, depends on the neighbourhood. Yes, uh, well, we were in, um, oh, I, we lived in Tweka, uh for the first year, which is the sort of gay barrio, and it's very vibrant, wonderful. But um, then we moved to, a little bit out to uh, Tetuan, which was okay, it was very Spanish. Um, um, yeah. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Siobhan, an ice cream maker attachment for the, the KitchenAid. Really? I have to look at that. <laughs> right, Thomas, I, uh, no, I, no hablo mucho español. <laughs> Disculpe. Uh, frozen fruit with bananas blended in blender until smooth and freeze. Is there any cream involved in that, anyway? Uh, hmm. Hello, Paul. Hello, Yellow Manable. <laughs> Tom, <sorry. laughs> yeah, well, I don't speak Spanish. It probably was. Um, Paul, I am, I am pretty real. Yeah. Um, okay, let's. Um, uh, Saskatchewan, or is it Saskatoon? Synonym. No.
That's inside out as well, isn't it? It's Abbott Ale. Yeah, I mean, you, you, Paul, you, you, you can't go wrong with uh, le learning the French classics. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not the be-all and end-all. Have you seen the film Ratatouille, the Disney dish, no, Pixar cartoon? Uh, that's, that's a bit wonderful, actually. Uh, Keckington, how's my day going? It's been a disaster so far, but it's getting better. Paul, Mexican food. Mm. Somebody asked me what was my least favourite ethnic cuisine, and uh, I said uh, Caribbean, well, Jamaican. Uh, <clears throat> Mexican might be a close second. No, you know, it's, there's, there's some great stuff. If you go to, uh, we've been to an authentic-ish Mexican restaurant in Dubai, uh, and yeah, but but most mostly what 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 gets. Uh, presented in the UK as Mexican is is about equivalent to um, British Indian restaurant food in relation to authentic Indian, if you see what I mean. Uh, yeah. Uh, Oh, my smashed diner burger. Um, it, it was it was marvellous. Um, I, did, I didn't manage to make it properly because I, I just improvised a griddle. So I've, I've ordered a cast iron griddle and a, and a wide spatula to smash it down with. So um, looking forward to those coming because yeah. Nigel, it's uh, it's blooming hot in Leeds as well, and I'm missing it. For you. <laughs> uh, David Lee's Savory Duck has another name, hasn't it? Somebody mentioned that. Uh, I think I did it. Um, what is it? A synonym for the Savory Duck. <laughs> Mr. Curry! Hello, mate. Where have you been? Carissa Page, I love you too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chris the Butcher, what are you doing pouring beer on the mower? Don't do that. <laughs> uh, Paul in Liverpool, I used to live in Liverpool, so did Brenda Rigdon and Lots of people. Oh, Nigel was born there. Yeah, I don't know why um, synonym. I don't, I don't know why North America doesn't go in for savoury meat pies, because they're the best. Uh, uh, uh. Right, anyway, listen guys, I've got to do something. Um, <laughs> I've got to eat these things. These are treats sent to me, uh, full disclosure, it was a present. Um, and uh, sent to me by trytreats.com, okay? And there's, uh, there's, a, there's a voucher code. If, if you want to subscribe to this, you'll, you'll get um, a, a box of treats from a different country each month. And if you use Keith Cooks, all caps, one word, K-E-E-F-C-O-O-K-S, -E um, you'll get a discount. So, can't be bad. So let's have a look what we got. Uh, okay, you get an index. 
of what's inside. Okay, and you get some a card with some facts about Germany and a recipe on the back for sautéed German sausages. And you get a postcard of a castle in Bavaria and yep, little message on the back. So, oh, Miss, Mrs. Keith Cooks has completely design, de declined to uh, help me out with this. So. <laughs> but I reckon I can manage this. Saltlets, premium bait. Oh, it's in English. That's strange. Crispy from the oven with sea salt. These look like twiglets. Um, One of them. Mmm. Pretzel sticks. Mmm. Oh, nice. You, you have to wait now while I like eat them all. This is a mukbang. Apparently. <laughs> oh, Thomas Hardy, bye bye. Come on, I need some pretzel sticks. Apparently, in uh, Korea, it's a big thing that um, people make videos of themselves socialising and eating, and it's called a mukbang. And, um, mm. Mm. okay, they're good. I know. Ooh. Curly peanut classic. Corn snack with freshly ground peanuts. So if this was English, it would say may contain nuts on the packet. Well, big whiff of um, peanuts there. Oh, not so nice. Well, I can, I can um, taste the uh, peanuts, but. No, no, not for me that one. Bomb sticks, salted gazalzen, well section cut off, gashnetten made from real potatoes. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. Nigel, I have never been to the USA. Um, I like the stones sometimes, but yeah, couldn't eat the whole one. Oh, they're okay. So, um, was it you, Brenda, asking what's for tea later? I don't think anything. I think I'm going to be eating those all day. Ah. Okay. Milka. 
Leo. Looks like a Kit Kat. <laughs> I think this has been melted in transit. So, kind of wafer, caramel, and chocolate. Hmm. Yeah. That's not bad. Kinder. Bueno. I think these, these, these have all melted in transit, all the chalky ones. So where, where is Milka from, guys? Is it German? Ooh. Looks like it might be fudgy. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. I like that. James Brewster, hello. Happy Sunday to you. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I can understand it. I would um, eat twenty of those. <sighs> right. Kinder chocolate. with an impossibly wholesome photoshopped kid on it. Oh. Ah. oh, they've all got different Despicable Me characters. Uh, Siobhan Miller, preserved lemons in, chopped up in salad sandwiches, um, chopped on fish, chicken, you know, things like that. Chocolate's nice. I'm trying to work out what that white stuff is in the middle, but I can't. Hmm. Mm. AJ, not nugget, no, it's um it's not um chewy like that, it's very soft. Um. Oh and you get a little tart with it. Uh -huh. mm. well, that's, that's actually too sweet for me.
Okay, uh, more milk. Uh, milk here with caramel crisp pearls. With an easy open thing. Ooh! Didn't expect that. Right. It's wiggly. I guess it's meant to be wiggly. Yeah. Mm. I do like white chocolate. Mrs. Keith Cups doesn't. Sorry, I'm Sikins. <laughs> yeah, so not, not wrong with um, Cadbury's. Ashe? Ashe is... I don't know. That no, doesn't look like a, a German name. But... Okay. That's seen better days. I think that's melted and reset. Very sweet again, though. Sorry about this. It's like um, you know when you do wine tasting, you have to take a swig to clean to cleanse your palate and spit it out. Okay, um, sorry. Milka again. Choco cow. Broken it. Okay, um, yeah, they, they, these are definitely melted and reset, They're stuck together. Um, so it's like um, an embossed cow that, that stuck to the other one. Uh, with chocolate on the back and chocolate biscuit. And the last thing, <laughs> oh come on, you can't tell me that's German. <laughs> Harry Bo, Happy Cola, come on. They're made in Wakefield, those. You're not wrong, Chris, I'm stuffed here. Okay, well, I'm kind of uh, getting the cola fizz. 
but it's not going it's not going with the chocolate at all so we'll give up, up on that one yeah right okay well there you go that, that was that was treats and jolly good it is too so once again um try treats.com all one word um and there's a voucher code keith cooks K W E F C O K S. I'll i'll put it in the description after um and you know you get a massive discount maybe <laughs> uh yeah lady g american chocolate let's not go there <laughs> dj technoid you just arrived because i'm just wrapping up <laughs> but you know okay um american chocolate is weird but then to an american british chocolate or german chocolate is is weird and everybody all countries have seem to have different versions of um <coughs> chocolate you know adapted to local taste and um basically uh who's right who's wrong doesn't matter it's you know you like what you like so don't get into fights about it Jedi Guna. Well, I, I've, I've known some Americans who didn't like British chocolate at all. Um, tried to make me Hershey's. And I'm sure there's better chocolate than Hershey's in the States, but yeah. Anyway, um, right, folks. Uh, what time is it? Oh, it's nearly four o'clock. So... My favourite supermarket, um, uh, uh, Sainsbury's, but generally I mostly shop at um, Tesco because it's closer. But yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, Nathaniel, I've got to go at some point, you know, because because uh, I've got a greenhouse to build. <laughs> Did you not see the greenhouse? I think that was when when I was doing it on. Um, Planet, uh, Planet Keith, accidentally. Kek kekking turn, <laughs> stream for 24 hours. That would be the most boring thing ever. Um, Mr. Muscle, more power videos, yay. Yay. All right, look, um, I'll just whiz out the back and um, you can see the green the greenhouse and the uh, yeah. okay so this is the uh amazing greenhouse which um uh that thing up the top that needs that's a ventilation thing it's gonna have uh, a flap on it hinge flap and uh the door is the next, um some more tomatoes and basil uh alan k yeah we're having a great day and there's some plant things And there's a load of spuds. Bye, Siobhan. And tons and tons of different kinds of lettuce and things. Under weather vane <laughs> with um, <laughs> it's 
So there you go. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, it is warm out there. It's quite nice. Uh. Oh, that was clever, wasn't it? It's <laughs> switch. Right. Back. Uh, yeah, the uh, is not great in the garden, so. Uh, Brian Davis, cheers, from Florida. Is it coming or going? Uh. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'd show you the front garden, but um, Miss, Mrs. Keith Cooks is, is working out there and she'll, she'll kill me if I did. So, uh, uh, right, chaps. Oh, DJ Techno, spaghetti pot pie doesn't appeal. Really, I don't think I'll do that because no, it, it's 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 like a potato, you know potato pie. It's uh, carbs and carbs. Um, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Alan K, get on with it. Come on, do that. Do that calculus. I could never understand calculus. Uh, Joel Hardy. Okay, listen. Um, Joel Hardy uh, has um, got a YouTube channel where he does sort of blogging and um, deserves your support. So um, go and find him, Joel Hardy, on YouTube. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Amsikins, 1999. Didn't you do that before? <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I will stay on. <laughs> uh, uh, Adam Seats, what are you on about? <laughs> right, I like DJ Techno, he uh, makes nice comments, so, yeah, that's all right. Uh, hey Joel, it will, but I won't get it till like, the month after next, because that's how uh, YouTube operates, but, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so. Uh, Yeah, listen, I mean, I'm I'm all talked out. I can't think of a single thing to say, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it. Oh, here's the boss. Hello. Hello. Come on, get get in front of the camera. No. <laughs> I think she just had a shower no. or fallen in the pond. No, it's just playing on sweat. I'm looking for my bucket of fish things. I thought I'd left it in here. No. Okay. Sorry, Claudia. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> she just gone again. All right. Okay. Okay, peeps. Um, I really am going. So thank you all for turning up. Thanks for those who um, gave me money because, uh, yeah, that's what we like. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And see you next time. Do you like that way we, we, we try to synchronize the wave at the end of the videos now? And we can't actually ever do it right <laughs> all right so um this this stream will appear later i think uh so um and and i think they've changed it so the comments actually appear with it as well uh which is a good thing so yeah all right then all right i'm going i'm going i'm going bye